first ever wormhole has finally been discovered by scientists. The Portal to Parallel Universe The first ever wormhole has finally been discovered by scientists. It is said that this new discovery will not only help us bridge distances between planets, but also help us to explore the unknown universe. The wormhole theory has been around for a long time. You would have learned about it a long time ago when it was just on paper. Researchers recently made it a reality by finding the first wormhole. Before we talk about the discovery and what it means for people, let's look at backstory information to help us fully comprehend how it works. Although they weren't called wormholes initially, the idea about them came in 1916. Ludwig Flom, an Australian researcher, discovered a new answer to Albert Einstein's general relativity equations while looking at results provided by some other researchers. He discussed a white hole, which is like a black hole, but with the time going backward. Possibly, there's a path through space and time that leads the mouse towards both black and white holes. In 1935, researcher Nathan Rosen used the theory of general relativity to come up with an idea and proposed that there might be a bridge between space and time. These bridges connect two different spaces in space-time, which means there might be a faster way to get from one place to another, which would cut down a journey distance and time. Einstein calls the wormholes Rosen Bridges, so the shortcuts are also called Rosen Bridges. As Stefan Sue, a senior lecturer of theoretical physics at the University of Oregon, informed Life Science. At this point, everything is just a guess. An article in the Journal of High Energy Physics says that wormholes have two openings with a neck in the middle. The mouse would probably look like a circle, and the neck would be lengthier than required for direct path. It might also have a plane segment. Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts wormholes mathematically. A negative mass wormhole can be found by watching how its gravity pulls impacts light close to it. Some general relativity solutions enable wormholes with black holes at both ends. And although we haven't witnessed one so far, a wormhole journey is often shown. In everyday life, this kind of journey is much more difficult. Overall, its size is the most important thing. Wormholes are thought to be between 10 and 30 centimeters wide. But as the universe has grown, some objects may have managed to grow to be very big. Stability is something else. The Einstein and Rosen wormholes were thought to be unpredictable and unsuitable for journeys. It's not transparent whether this kind of matter appears in the universe. Sue says that they would require a strange material to stabilize a wormhole. But in more recent research, it was found that a wormhole with strange things in it remains open and unaffected by prolonged periods. This strange matter shouldn't be confused with dark matter or antimatter because it has high negative pressure and a negative energy density. This matter has only been observed in how certain vacuum states act. Quantum field theory says that a wormhole might be used to send data or preachers through space if it contained enough of its crazy stuff in it, regardless of whether it was made on purpose or occurred naturally. Sadly, it may be hard for people to travel through the space passageways. Last week, a team of physicists from the Autonomous University of Barcelona in Spain announced that they had created a wormhole that caves a magnetic field through an extra unique dimension. Wouldn't that be awesome? From a particular viewpoint, this device begins to behave like a wormhole. Jordi Pratt Camps, a doctoral candidate in physics at AUB and co-author of the paper, said that if the magnetic field was sent through an extra special dimension, this device could move the magnetic field from one place in space to the next without leaving a magnetic trail. The thought of a wormhole comes from the concept of Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein's friend Nathan Rosen found out in 1935 that Einstein's general relativity theory made it possible to build bridges between different locations in space-time. Currently, there isn't any evidence that space-time wormholes are real. Although, theoretically, these Einstein-Rosen bridges, or wormholes, could let objects travel faster over greater distances. However, the recently found wormhole is not a space-time wormhole. That's a distinct type of wormhole. Instead, it's a future invisibility cloak first proposed in the Journal of Physics Review letters in 2007. The issue arose because the squad would have to use extremely unrealistic and hard-to-work components to make this wormhole that could hide the light. Externally, electromagnetic radiation would not be able to be seen coming through this kind of wormhole. Wormhole fans will be happy to hear that all the parts required to construct a magnetic wormhole already exist and are much simpler to get. 
For instance, magnetic field lines are pushed out from the inside of superconductors, which can move a large amount of current or charged particles. This makes the curve or turn of the path. This lets the magnetic fields act differently from the 3D environment, which is the initial move in concealing the magnetic field disruptions. The group created three layered objects with two circular spheres and an internal spiral cylinder for their wormhole. The magnetic fields were hidden by the two layers, whereas the middle layer moved the magnetic field from one end to another. The internal cylinders are made of moon metal, with a strong magnetic field. Ferromagnetic materials possess the most important type of magnetism, while emu metals are porous and are commonly used to secure electronics. The internal cylinders are made of emu metal, with a strong magnetic field. Ferromagnetic materials possess the most important type of magnetism, while emu metals are porous and are commonly used to secure electronics. The cylinder inside was encased in a thin layer of uranium, barium, copper oxide, and a high temperature semiconductor material that twisted the magnetic field that went through the inside. The last shell was made from 150 parts of emu metal. It was cut and placed perfectly to be in harmony. Because of the superconducting exterior, the magnetic field is bent. Then, the whole thing was put in a liquid nitrogen bath because such high temperature semiconductors needed to work at cold temperatures. The magnetic field should have been easy to see from nearby locations since magnetic field lines usually spread out from a single point and weaken over time. The new magnetic wormhole seems to make the magnetic field appear out of nowhere on the axis side. This is because the magnetic field was pushed through the wormhole. During the trip, a magnetic wormhole emerged that went from one side of the cylinder to another without being seen. From a magnetic point of view, the magnet's magnetic field disappeared at one end of the wormhole and reappeared at the other. And although Pratt Foran doesn't know for sure if there are similar magnetic wormholes in space, he says that a gadget could be employed to move magnetic fields from one place to another. In that scenario, it may be capable of taking images of the body with the powerful magnet far ahead. This would protect individuals from the tight space of MRI machines that use big magnets and expect people to be placed in narrow, centrally controlled tubes for diagnostic procedures. Changes would need to be made to wormhole device. Wormholes can connect not only different parts of the same cosmos, but probably even two different worlds. For practical reasons, a cylindrical casing would have been ideal. Researchers have come up with similar ideas at that time. If one of the mouths of a wormhole is shifted in a certain way, it will become feasible to travel through it. If one of the mouths of a wormhole is shifted in a certain way, it will become feasible to travel through it. It's feasible that attaching normal matter could be sufficient to make a wormhole unstable. It's also feasible that attaching exotic matter may be sufficient to make a wormhole stable enough so that the humans could travel across it without threat. Although wormholes may be found, our current tech can't make them stable or expand. Researchers are always looking into the concept as a method of traveling to space, though in the expectation that innovation will someday be able to use them. That's it for now. What do you think of this video? Let us know in the comments below and smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. And before you leave, you can make us super happy by subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. And with those words, I'm out.